Apache Kylin is an open source distributed analytics engine designed to support extremely large datasets by providing SQL interface for multi-dimensional analysis for big data in Hadoop. It was originally contributed to the Apache Foundation by eBay in 2014. We said this in the previous lecture that running queries, especially analytical queries, have not been pretty on the Hadoop platform with existing SQL on Hadoop tools like Hive. The reason is because there's always the presence of aggregations and joins in analytical queries over multiple tables that require data shuffle across network. And that is the reason for the high latency for many of these tools. But with Kylin, the data is in an OLAP cube that is physically resident in an HBase database. And we assess this data in the OLAP cube using SQL. However, for the data to be in the cube, there is a needed requirement for us to have modeled the data in a star or snowflake schema, create a cube descriptor, build this cube before it becomes available for query. This extra step affords us more insight into how our model is queried and therefore more information in engineering analytical solutions. Don't worry if these are high sounding words. In this course, we're going to do all these hands on and it's going to be pretty clear. But without an all up on big data system like Kylin, what existed previously was architects favoring Hadoop as a data storage and processing platform, but not as a data analytics or serving platform. I mean, it is worth noting that in many cases, the client of analytical services are not just humans, but systems themselves. So many times you're making these analytical queries from web application, RESTful endpoints, and other systems in our organization. So the data in Hadoop in this case are um, transferred to other traditional tools that act as this query serving or BI engine. But this is where Kylin comes to the party. It makes it possible for these applications or humans to be able to make queries to the system and get very low latency response regardless the size of the data. One way to imagine it is using your JavaScript framework to write an analytical query on Hive. You can imagine the experience to give to the user who will have to wait a minute or two to get the response compared to the user waiting for two seconds. Apache Kylin was built to run over extremely large datasets with sub seconds response. And as you will see in later lectures, this is possible using existing Hadoop ecosystem projects. Kylin wasn't just built to be fast over extremely large datasets, but was also built to provide aggregation expressions like top end queries that are actually very costly to execute. According to the engineers at eBay, the largest use case for Kylin is the analysis of over 12 billion source records, generating over 14 terabyte cubes. Its 90% query latency is less than 5 seconds. Now, that is impressive. You can find more of this information from the Kylin release announcement webpage at eBay. The link to that page is available from the resource section of this course. So, in general, Kylin offers sub seconds query latency on billions of rows, provides ANSI standard SQL availability to those using SQL compatible tools, full OLAP capabilities to offer advanced functionalities. It supports high cardinalities and very large dimensions. I mean, this should be easy to understand for those coming from the data warehousing and BI background. It also has high concurrency for thousands of users. It is distributed and has a scale-out architecture for analysis in data to the terabyte and petabyte size range. It provides ODBC and JDBC drivers so that you can connect to it using your favorite tool. It also provides connectivity using RESTful endpoints so you can also connect to it from your web applications. It's also worth noting that Kylin has a feature called Query Routing. And this feature enables Kylin to route your query to the original source of data, which for instance will be Hive, 
if the query cannot be answered by the schema model that you have designed in query. What this means that you don't have to decide in your application which questions should be answered by Kylie and which questions should be answered by your existing um, query engines. Kylie can make that decision. So you just talk to Kylie. Kylie receives the query, makes the decision on who should best answer the question, either from the pre-aggregation in the cube or from the source in Hive, Impala, Drills, or the likes. This is the much we want to talk about Kylin in this lecture. You can check out more in the Kylin Apache website. In the next lecture, we will explain in details how Kylin works to achieve these features that we have just listed. See you in that lecture.